Hey, hey. Hello, guys. Good evening. Teacher, Teacher. Lisa, with you again. <laughs> it's good to see you. Thank you for being punctual, being for being on time all the time. Yes, I love this. How was your weekend, my friends? Did all of you work? No, I know. You didn't. What did you do then? What did you do on the weekend? I went to San Salvador with my family. <gasps> Great. Any special celebration or just for fun? Uh, for my cousin's birthday. <gasps> wow. When, when was your cousin's birthday? Yesterday or Saturday? I uh, was on 17. <laughs> the 17th. Yes. Okay. Friday, right? Friday. Yes, Friday. Well, it's good to celebrate, right? It's good to yes. spend some time with the family, you know, and it's great to relax, you know, to forget about uh, all our worries and uh, responsibilities for a while and have a great time together, you know? That's very good. Nice, Prissy. And, and what about the oral presentation? Are you ready? Yes, yes. <laughs> more than ready, teacher, more than ready. So bring it, <laughs> bring it to me. Very good. We're going to wait for uh, the rest of the class, you know. And uh, as I said it on Friday, we're going to have uh, to listen to the other students who are missing presentations. And uh, I'll give you feedback, right? On the most um, common Mistakes that I could identify. <laughs> Mercy, you also present today, right, Mercedes? Yes, great. <laughs> Are you yeah. nervous? Are you nervous, Mercy? Not right. Much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no, there's no reason to be, to be, you know, nervous. Everybody here has presented or is presenting today right so they are very kind um let me see i have 12 people with me february you know february is almost gone you know today is the the 20th yeah february the 20th so eight days more and we say bye-bye to february and we welcome march right and with March, the hottest days of the year. Yes, it's really hot right now. Imagine in March and in April, ha, that's gonna be, you know, hotter than ever, right? I, I don't know why, but I prefer, yeah, I, I know and I have the feeling that I was born in the wrong place. I should be living there, you know, in, Canada or or Switzerland, <laughs> cold weather, you know, because this is incredibly hot in El Salvador. Okay, let's see. Jose Rigoberto is connecting. I I I have now thirteen people with me, so that's great. Who remembers about the last class we had? Not the presentation, but the class before. You know, the class before the presentation. What was the topic that we that we were um, discussing about, you know, Thursday's class. Do you remember? Or you forgot? Huh? Isaac? Mm, sorry, but I don't remember. Um... Macarena dance, because you don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry, but, sorry. Okay, okay, no problem. The time. Ah, very good, Rigo. The time we were, you know, uh, learning how to tell the time in English. Okay, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. We are missing the practice. You know, we are yes. missing the practice because I just introduced the topic. We um kind of practice for a while. It was guided practice, but now you're going to have the the practice you know, in which you work 
alone in a way, right? With classmates. And um, you, you'll practice exactly everything what we were discussing on Friday. Oswaldo, Alberto Teacher. Mejia, good to see you. Yes, Isaac. No, I have never, I have never learned the, the analogy. And no, An it's, it's analog. not difficult for me. The analog is, yeah, that is difficult oh, for everybody, no, I believe. I only digital. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. But, it, you know, yes. I know that because now everything is digital, it's easier for people to, to have, you know. Since I, since, since I was a child, I, I never learned the analog. analog. Uh, analog I oh. never. Imagine <laughs> now learning it in English. It's harder, teacher, harder. <laughs> if it no, was, I, I, if I it was, was the number. Mm -hmm. At, yes. Okay, I need to watch the numbers. To, to say the clock, to say the, the, the hour. The time, the time. Yes, to, to tell the time, okay. you need to know the numbers. Yeah. Some people think <laughs> that numbers is too simple, you know, but numbers are used all the time, my friends, to give telephone numbers, to give quantities, yes, to mention uh, years, right, and to tell the time. So the alphabet and the, um, the numbers are super important you know it goes uh, these topics go with you the rest of your of your life and in every context right so let's see guys let me present to you what is going to be my powerpoint presentation today monday again as i was telling you in uh, um, the group right it's monday again <laughs> Some people feel happy with Monday. Some others feel kind of down. Life, you know, must go on. And we have to continue. Okay, so this is the class objective, you know. I volunteer to read it. Anyone? Anyone who wants? Volunteer. Okay. Thank you, Claudia. Claudia raised her hand. Isaac, you are going to help me with the with no, the no, 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 no. Okay. So no, Claudia, no, no, no. thank you. Thank you anyway. No, no. Claudia. Class objective. At the, at the end of the election, participants will be able to the different people the specific time and date of activities they do in their workplace. Excellent. Thank you so much. Listen. Be able to tell different people, right? The specific time and dates of activities they do in their workplace, right? This is class number 19, my friends. Yes, class number 19. This is unit three, where do you work? And this is beginner number one, right? And this is teacher Lisette Orellana. Yeah, the same teacher. So, Isa, what is the agenda? Okay, agenda. Welcome. Warm up activity, oral presentation, feedback, class presentation, class development, class production, warm up. Wrap up, wrap up. Warm up, okay, warm up. No, wrap, like wrap, wrap music. Uh huh, okay. wrap up, wrap up. Okay, wrap up. Yes, thank you very much. So, now let's I move. Have questions. Yes, I I have a question. What mean wrap up? What's mean what's mean? What is the meaning of wrap up? Yeah, what's the meaning? Wrap up is the closing time of the class. When we close, you know, with the session, yes, that's the, the wrap up. When we put into practice everything that we have studied in every single session, right? That's the, the wrap up. If we okay. translate it, uh, you can wrap, you know, something up. Envolver, you know, wrap something up, right? That is another, oh. that's another meaning, right? So okay. it's when we put okay. everything together and we, you know, show, yes, what we have learned. It's, 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 it's to get enough, enough, it's to get enough uh, conocimiento, por decir. Mm, well, actually, it is not that specific meaning. It's just to put 
things together, you know, and close with the, in this, in this case, in this context, close with the class and the session, right? That is the wrap up. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So let's now move to the warm up. I'm sorry if you are anxious. Yeah, about presenting, but we have to cover the warm up activity so you can understand later what is going to come in the class, right? So let's move to the warm up. So this is going to be a, a kind of refreshing moment for those who do not remember very well what we studied uh, last in their last session. Oh my gosh, where is my, okay, it's here. It is telling the time, right? As um, Rigoberto was telling you, this was basically the last topic of uh, Thursday's class. Yes, that was our last class because Friday was mostly for oral presentation. So here we go. What time is it is the question. So what time is it here, people? A, B, C, or D? Everybody. Two o'clock. Ah. So B. B. Huh? B. Ah, D. B. D. D. The teacher, D. it's two o'clock. Excellent. The teacher is deaf. Right? The teacher is a little deaf. What about in here? Mm -hmm. What time is it? What's the time? C. C. It's half past oh. 10. Perfect. Half past 10, teacher. Oh, 10.30, right? What about in this one? This is the digital. It's not a B. It's B. Nine B. B. This is easy. It's 9 o'clock, teacher. It's 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. And in the next one, number four, what time is it? Setting past. B. Uh -huh. B. 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 It's how fast? B. Nine. Wonderful. Past nine. Past nine. Yeah. And uh, what's the time here? A quarter to four. Right? It's a quarter to four because it's 345. And this one, this is easy. It's, it's 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, right? 12 o'clock. Option A. Well. Very good. Here? It's A. a quarter to a quarter to two. Two. Option B. Option A. Option A. Uh -huh. Option A. A. It's quarter, a quarter to 11. No quarter past 10 because it's not 10 15, right? It's this one. And how about this one, number 12? What's the time? 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Better? 7 o'clock. Option A. A, right? Very good, Edwin. Nice. Next. What's the time? It's 12. It's A. Letter A. Letter A. It's how fast? Six. six. Very good. Six. How fast? 
six. And in this one, it's ten to ten past ten. Ten to ten. Ah, no, ten to ten. No, because it's past nine. It's past nine. Exactly, exactly. Está robando una hora si me dice eso. Ah, what what about here? It's five past eight. Five past eight. Five past eight. Option A. 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 Very A. good. A. Number 16, the last one. What time is it? It's... It is to... It is 20... 25 to 25 A or B? A. 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 Option A. A. Very good. Option A. Well done. Only great answers, you know, in four minutes. That's fantastic. Very good. What's the time, Rigoberto? What time is it right now? 11 past 7. It's 11 past 7. Excellent. What is the other way to say the same time? Uh, let me see, Claudia. Another way to, to say the same? Seven past ten. No. Seven past ten, no. Si tradujéramos eso, serían las diez con siete minutos. Right? So, <laughs> ah, so it's not that one. It's ten past seven. Twelve. Aha, it's twelve past seven. Seven o seven twelve. Yes, o twelve after seven. Right? That's what we were practicing last time. Very good. I guess. You know, my participants who are missing presentations are here. Let me see. Is Manuel here? Manuelito? I don't see Manuel. Manuel was going to be the first one today. No. So, Priscilla, you can start with the presentation. <laughs> yes, drink. <laughs> drink water. Try to <laughs> breathe. And here you go. Okay. Let me show you a little presentation. Little. Very good. <laughs> Okay, can you see the PPT? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Very okay. good. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to present a little presentation. Uh, sorry. <laughs> and, okay. My name is Priscilla Perenice Ayal. I'm 27 years old. I'm from San Salvador. But I actually live here in San Miguel. I work at EPA Hardware Store here in San Miguel too. I'm, I work in a human resource personal area. I, lo I like so much my job. And I actually live with uh, my mom, one brother and my little sister because my father died like three or four months ago. I like to spend, with, um, spend my time with my family and my friends and with my boyfriend too. I love going to the movies and that's a little about me. Now I'm going to talk about my routine at work. I wake up at 6.40 a.m. I brush my teeth, wash my face, and I prepare my lunch and my breakfast. At 7.15, I'm ready for work, but first, I eat my breakfast. 
when I go to work and listening music while I'm driving because the music makes me relax. Around seven forty, I think I'm at work. And the first thing I do is say good morning to all the people. And then uh, when I in my desk, I check the emails and answering them. At night o'clock, I check all my lists for the things to do during the day. I send report, check, and I and add disabilities in my computer. Then I check the employee uniforms and receive supplies for the employees. From 11 to 12, I prepare all the payment reports. And then I send. At 12, I eat my lunch with my coworkers. And from 1 to 4.30, I have Alejandra. Alejandra is my coworkers, my coworker. And I help with recruit and select people for our company, send emails, schedule meetings with all the managers. And finally, I check the birthdays uh, for the day and give the candies. And I'm actually, I love my job. And I'm going to talk about my friend's routine. And my, my, her name is Alejandra. She wakes up at 6 a.m. At 7.20, she takes a shower, makes her lunch, and she eats her breakfast. At 7.30, she goes to work, and I think around 7.45, uh, she checks the emails in her schedule. Uh, from 8 to 12, she selects and calls and recruits people by the platform, the coloco, como trabajo, that's all for her company. From 12 to 1, she eats her lunch with her co-workers. She works at EPA, but in San Salvador. And from one to three, I think she calls all the candidates program schedule and she she sends the psychographic test. I don't know if it's like that. <laughs> and then she checks all the tests, coordinate interviews with all the store manager. And then she hiring the new human talent for her company. At three forty, she takes a little break because that where some uh, sometimes can be so stressed. And from the last, she finishes with the candidate. She plans the activities for the next day and coordinates the meeting. And the last thing she does is checks and reports the email for the next day. And that's all my presentation. Wonderful presentation. Very good, Chrissy. Claps to you. you. It's nice, you know, listening that you love what you do. Yes? yes. There's no best thing but to love what we do, right? Because that helps us enjoy, you know or everyday routine yeah yes. how hard could it be you know to wake up one day and say oh yeah i have to go to war to this place right to the place i don't like so it's yes, really it's really nice to know that you love your you know activities at work right so very good excellent Thank let's you. now you know there, there is melvin and melvin was like no, 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 Melvin, you have to present. <laughs> I, I was just giving you some time to join the meeting <laughs> and activate your microphone. So it's yours, you know, the microphone is all yours. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Um, hello, good evening. Um, okay, uh, my name is Melvin Ernesto Aguilar Hernandez. I am... 34 years old, and I live in Ilopango, 
I work at EPA. I like football and ready and motorcycle. Um, I'm going to tell you about my daily routine. Okay. First, I wake up at 6 a.m. to shower and get ready to go to work. I leave my house at 7.15, not before checking my motorcycle. I have a breakfast when I get to work. Uh, which I, why I like to arrive earlier. I like to have breakfast, pusas, or tamales, and eat a coffee. I love coffee. Um, in my world, in the period that the, we do is order, after that, I the, the dedic um, myself to check in email. I am also in the charging of entering the virtual inventory of the product that is received in the day. My lunch break is at 12 or one, depending on how work is. My check off time is 5 p.m. And finish. <laughs> um, I want to tell about my friend Claudia Perla. Um, she's my. ¿Cómo se dice compañera, Miss? Perdón. My coworker. Okay, she's my coworker and. She is a self consultant. She is very energetic. Sometimes she asks my forehead, book the, book the notes a lot about this area. Um, it's finished the lesson. Okay, uh, Claudia, you are very popular. I mean, this is the second person that talks about you. <laughs> yes, me queda, me queda yes she is popular. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, Luz de Belen and, and Melvin have described what Claudita does, you know, every day at work. Very good, Clau. You are popular. So. You should think about becoming the new mayor of San Salvador. She's a good friend. <laughs> I see. I see that she is, right? Definitely. Thank you. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, Melvin, now let's let's see if my other uh, presenter is ready. And my other presenter is Manuel. Manuel Hernandez. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, I am. Teacher. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Manuel Hernandez. I am uh, fifty-five uh, years old. Uh, I live in Lourdes, Colón, the Libertad Department. Uh, in work at EPA, in Los Héroes. I have, I have been working uh, the, there for uh, four years. Uh, I am in uh, day four area, category, category uh, 
Ok. Eh, my kid star at eh, 6 45 45 eh, am eh, and and at eh, do do fourteen uh, p.m. My home is so provi a bit on ten shade and full soon shall plant fertilizer fertilizer and insecticide holds are liquid in and granulado. After work, he was home. Uh, to, don't spend time with my children. Say, Nan, Nan, Ari Nicole, Chase, a system. A Sunday, a pronuncia dose. Twelve. 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 And Susanna, they go younger, saying only uh, eight months old. My hobbies are playing soccer, watching seven, navigating, navigating on Facebook, Facebook and texting on WhatsApp he arts like spending time with my friends. My favorite for is roster, best with dance and rice. My favorite is Ray Soda Archata Fish. Uh, they found her in her are something. Negatives, <laughs> ceviche, y local dish, y local dish, marino, chirping, <coughs> chir, and boy, carro, o corro, no sé cómo se pronuncia eso. <laughs> Finish. Okay, at the end you were talking about your favorite things, right? Especially your favorite food. Okay, Manuel, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, but I didn't listen to any description of a, of a co-worker. You didn't talk about any activities, right? About other, other people, did you? You talked only about your children, I believe. Esos niños habló, ¿verdad que sí? About your sí. children, not about a co-worker. No. no. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Good, let's see. Who continues, people? Who's the next one? Or we finish there. I see this. <laughs> your time has okay. arrived. Okay. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> okay. Do you have any PowerPoint? Yes. Power. Okay, great. So, share it. Good evening, everyone. My name is Mercedes Ramirez. I am 30 years old. I live in Montelimar, Oloquilta. I work at hardware store, EPA. I am cashier in the morning shift. I like to watch comedy movies. I like the music of Daddy Yankee. I like to travel at Guatemala. I'm going to tell you about my morning routine at work. I arrive 
at work every day at 6 a.m. Change my shoes and I put on my work boots and wear my work cap. I prepare my calculator, a stapler, pencils, and bottle with water. I go to work at 6 30 a.m. He even placed me at the cashier at the catch register. I get that day. I count the money that's it in the catch register. And it has to be $105. Then I clean my work area and place the box, the box to hold the customer product. I start charging customer at 7 a.m. On Tuesday, I have to place product in the cashier area. And Friday, I start drinks. I eat my breakfast between 8 and 9 a.m. Being a cashier requires a lot of concentration. I close the catch register at 1.30 p.m. Then I have to balance the money I had with what I have sold at the register. I finish my work day at 2.30 p.m. Now I am going to tell you about my husband's morning routine. His name is Eduardo Lopez. My husband works at Papa John's. He is a cook. The chiefs are rotating when he wore the morning chief. Guess up at 4 a.m. He prepared his breakfast, brought his teeth, and they take a shower. He takes two buses to work. He enters the restaurant at 7 a.m. He put on the uniform and marked the entrance and get ready to cook. He checks the expiration that's on the product. He checks the amount of product they need for the day. He prepared the ingredients, pepperoni, ham, pineapple, bacon, onion. They open the door of the restaurant and then I am. He prepared the dough by molding it into a circle. But the sauces and ingredients don't eat on it. Put it in the oven. Cooks it and it is ready for the customer. I finish your work day at 4 p.m. He likes to make pizzas. Thank you. Fin. Thank you very much. What is your husband's name? Luis Eduardo Lopez. Eduardo Lopez. Okay, so you always eat pizza. Mercedes, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're lucky to eat, you know, pizza very often because of your husband's job. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I guess you were the last one, right? You were the last presenter of today. I have 22 people who have, you know, developed a presentation. So I think everybody is done, right? So... Let's see, you know, I, I have to say congratulations, you know, to all of you because of your effort. I know, you know, I am conscious that you are busy people, that you are working during the, you know, the day time, and then you have to meet me in the evening and have your class. 
I appreciate your effort. I'm so, so um, uh, happy and delighted to have you in every single session because I appreciate the effort you put on this, right? Learning a second language is not that easy, especially if you are um, an adult, right? Learning a second language is easier when you start with the learning in the, you know, your early years, right? When you are a kid, etc. So you learn it, if we can say it unconsciously, but when it comes to an adult to learn a second language, so it's, you know, scientifically proved that it's harder, right? But not impossible. So I, uh, I need to tell you that I'm, you know, very, very satisfied with uh, the presentations I have uh, heard, right? There were excellent presentations. There were other presentations that require a little more, um, how can I say this? Well, there are many aspects that need to be fixed. You know what I mean? about pre uh, pronunciation, about a structure, but generally speaking, all the presentations were great because I got the point. Yes, I got the message that you wanted to give me, right? And that is the, that is the important thing, that when you use a language, you communicate your ideas, yes? And I'm happy for that because I understood um basically everything you wanted to tell me, right? So that is very, very good. So I'm going to start with the feedback. Look at this. I'm going to give you feedback as the agenda, you know, stated. Feedback. And what is the meaning of feedback, teacher? Hmm? The meaning of feedback is what we call in Spanish, Retroalimentación, okay? I'm going to give you um, or mention the most common mistakes that I could identify from your oral presentations. You can fix them. Vamos a reparar ciertas cositas de las presentaciones, okay? And I'm going to talk about this in general, okay? I'm not going to say... Uh, you, Pedrito, made this and this and these mistakes during the presentation. No, this is going to be general because um, I like to do it this way. So it's not personal. It's because you need to improve, right? You are my learner. So you have to, you have to get to know what the mistakes are so you can fix them. Vamos a reparar ahorita, Rose. Yes? First of all, you don't change, guys. When you talk about I... Pronunciation of this uh, personal pronoun, I, no E, because I heard some people pronouncing this E, E am. No, you don't say E am, you say I am. Yes, this is what we learned from unit number one. I, you know, this is the letter I. That's important. As I said, the alphabet is important. So in the alphabet, you have this uh, letter. And it is pronounced I, right? I, I am. Another one. Um, some of you still mispronounce this word, and this word is not me. Like, me name is, no, it's my, okay? I heard. Algunos de ustedes quizás estaban nerviositos todavía y, y me decían me, okay? Y, y acá decimos my, yes? So let's fix it, okay? My, 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 my name is my co-worker, my routine, right? My family, no me family, because I heard some of you saying me family. It's my family, my, 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 I, my. Next, some of the things that I identified. Okay, when you give the time in English, right? We do it or we give it like this. At six, for example, I get up at 6 a.m. teacher. But, however, sin embargo, algunos me piensan en español todavía y me dicen esto, mire, 
at the six, at the seven. Y yo entiendo que usted me está pensando en español. ¿Por qué? En español, ¿cómo decimos la hora? A las, ¿verdad que es, le ponemos ese artículo? Yes. A las seis, a las cuatro. No, so forget about this. Miren, nos olvidamos de este artículo en inglés. Yes. Y solo vamos a mencionar at, at six, at one, at five, at seven, at, uh, I don't know, five thirty, yes, at half past two, etc. So we forget about the da, okay? No more, no more. And only one person, you know, I, I heard one person saying this repeatedly, I mean, It was not one sentence. There were like three sentences with this. I, I get sap, for example. ¿Qué es lo que no está correcto acá? The yes. The yes. 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 Exactly. Mira, se lo agregamos a las terceras personas, ¿verdad que sí? Pero cuando yes. decimos I, ya no es necesario. Entonces, yes. I get up. Yes. I get up. Exactly. Okay. I get up. I get up. I take a shower. No, I take a shower. Without the S. No S, right? Tal vez los nervios nos hicieron ahí un poquito, eh, nos metieron ahí, ¿cómo decimos en español? La zancadilla. Ah, exactly. That is the word. <laughs> yes, but only, only you, you know, you change the verbs with he, she, and it. And talking about that, people, algunos me estaban hablando de Claudita. Yes, Claudia. And if I know that, uh, that you are going to talk about Claudia, I, I expect you to say she, right? However, some of you said he. Si yo voy a hablar de Claudia, Claudia is a woman. So I have to use the pronoun she, no he, right? Porque me dijeron algo así, miren. He... Y yo lo tengo anotado. Por... He is very, he is very energetic. Uy, energetic, right? Que no está bien acá. Sujeto, because you are talking about Claudia, right? So Claudia has to be she. So she is very energetic, right? Don't confuse the right, subject. Sure. And the same, the same happens when you are talking about a boy. Y a alguien le pasó que estaba hablando de un masculino y me dijo she, ¿ok? Like three times, tres veces. So you have, to, you have to think about this, you know, little details que nos van a hacer mejorar mucho si los analizamos eh, muy bien. Vocabulary, you know. Every time you have a presentation, people, siempre que tengo una presentación, investigate you know investigate the vocabulary because if you are for example in the middle of a presentation and suddenly you say mm, no sé cómo decir so that tells me that you didn't investigate right or that you didn't ask your teacher previously so next time investigate not only the word but also the pronunciation that's very important How do you pronounce this verb? Lie or live? Live. 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 And some of you were saying, I live in, for example, la libertad. I live in la libertad? No, I live in la libertad. No, I live. Yes, live. Solo si usted está con el Facebook ahí haciendo un en vivo. Yes, or if, <laughs> I don't know, in, in, in Daddy Yankee's concert, live, ¿verdad? Ahí, ahí sí es live. <laughs> But if you're talking about the verb, yes, you have to say live, right? The other, eh, ah, with this one. Pronunciación, ¿cómo pronunciamos ese, ese pronombre? She, sí. no sí. she, right? Because some of you were saying she is, she is and she is. No, she, okay? She, she, she. Like when you say she, 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 she. yeah, like that, she, okay? She. And, um, okay, he, I, I identify something like this. He is work uh, in... Burger King. Burger. Uh, He is working Burger King. 
What's not okay here? For it's worse. Mm. You don't need the verb be. No necesita el verbo to be. Y ahí di, ¿Qué les dije yo? Están divorciados, se odian, se detestan a morir, no los ponemos juntos jamás. Never, in, in, never ever. Okay? They, they never have to be together in a present simple sentence or in a simple past sentence, right? Va a haber un momento en el que se van a amar, se van a adorar y no se van a poder separar. Pero acá en los tiempos simples, el verbo to be se odia con los demás verbos. ¿Ok? Por eso los estudiamos separadamente, porque no los podemos mezclar. No estoy diciendo mi nombre ni el nombre de nadie más. No estoy diciendo la edad, la ocupación, ni la nacionalidad. Entonces, no tiene que ir el verbo to be. Right? So, he works. Ay, como no va el to be ni nada, porque no tiene que. Mire, aquí no me falta. Es. Right? He works. He works. Right? He, he works. Like that. Eh, okay. Another thing. Look. She's, she's favorite, favorite food is, or she's favorite color is, que no está correcto ahí. The is. Mm, so, how would, how would you say the sentence in a correct way, Rigo, if you say the is, it's not okay? Mm -hmm. Here, her favorite. Ah, first of all, this is incorrect because you don't need a pronoun, yes. a personal pronoun. You need a possessive adjective. She's her favorite food. Favorite. Exactly, exactly. So you don't say she's favorite. You say her favorite, right? Her favorite food is her favorite color is yellow, right? Etc. So the other, ah, there is a false friend. En inglés hay falsos amigos. Se le llama false friends o false cognates. For example, this one. Actually, if we translate the word, si la traducimos, no es actualmente. Yes, si no es como si dijéramos realmente. So, Nowadays, que si usted quiere decir actualmente o en al momento en estos días o lo que sea, ya yeah, a uh, nowadays, pero actually es realmente. Yes, I actually love what I do, right? But I actually live in, in San Salvador. No, nowadays I live in San Salvador. Okay, that is a false, false friend. Es un falso. Yes. When I use currently. Aha, uh -huh. currently is another synonym of nowadays. You can say nowadays or currently. Verdad que hay un background noise ahí. Yo me escucho así como las ardillas. Sí. Sí, como que si alguien estuviera por ahí y me escucho yo. <ríe> ok, alguien tiene ahí el micrófono quizás con, o dos dispositivos. Ya, okay. yeah. nowadays or uh, currently, yes? Currently. Significa lo mismo, ok? Currently or nowadays. But no actually, ok? Because actually means a different thing, right? The other, uh, the other thing that Teacher. I want yes. Entonces, currently or now, nowadays is actualmente. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes. Okay, thank you. Very good. So, let's see. Uh, there are many things I want to... Pronunciation of this preposition. This one. With, 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 with. Okay, because some of you say wife. No, it's with, with, with a Z at the end. Like this. With, um, with. 
es una TZ, with, 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 okay? Con Z al final, like this, with, 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 no Y, with, okay? Battle. Battle es la pronunciación, ¿ok? Battle with water. Yo por ahí otra, otra pronunciación, ¿ok? Battle, 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 battle. ¿Quién tiene ahí el micrófono? Porque sí. Me escucho raro, ¿ok? Ba Alvin y las ardillas. Battle, ¿ok? Ba Uy, battle. Bottle of water, bottle of water, bottle with water. Um, mm -hmm. Let me mention one more, the ones that I wrote last time. Okay, pronunciation, advice, no advice, okay, advice, pronunciation. Client, client, no client, right? Advice, client. Next one. Um, he get up. What is not correct there? What is a mistake? The S. Uh-huh. The S go uh, where? Yes, you know, uh -huh. yeah. Here. Right? Gets up. Not in the particle, but in the bear. Okay? Next to the bear. Um, okay. How do you pronounce this word? Ingredient. Ingredients, no ingredients. Ingredients have one, two, three syllables. Ingredients. ¿Cuál se va a acentuar? The second, the second syllable. Ingredients. Ingredients. Ingredients, right? Next is sauce. Tomato sauce. Okay, for example, sauce. Okay, that's the pronunciation. Sauce. Um, my family is Jucuapa. Is from, right? Is from Jucuapa. That's a, that's the other. Don't don't skip words when you uh, when you present uh, present something, right? And. Um, Ah, favorite eat. Favorite eat. Se equivocó de palabrita. Tenía que ser favorite food. Uh -huh. No favorite eat. Okay, so this is not okay. Wrong word. Palabra incorrecta. Wrong word. And instead of eat, you have to say food. All right, food. That's the one. My and the pronunciation is food, no foot, right? Food, like this. Food, because if you say my favorite food is mi pie favorito, okay, food, and you don't eat the food, right? You eat the food, food, right? So. Be careful and also be careful with this. Um, teeth. Okay. Teeth. Teeth, not teeth. Because you were saying I brush my teeth. Y lo, yo lo voy a escribir, sabe, para que ya no lo diga. Lo he mencionado, pero lo voy a escribir. Me, me van a llamar la atención por escribir. <laughs> Um, but you know, some of you say this tit, tits, y esto no, eso significa tetilla, 
Y esas usted no se las, no, nadie se las cepilla, creo yo, ¿ok? Nobody brushes teeth, ¿ok? But teeth, right? I brush my teeth three times a day, teacher. No, I brush my teeth three times a day. You know what I mean? Yes? So, careful with pronunciation because if you make a mistake, so you can say another thing, right? Another thing. So, the other... Um, Ah, casi lo olvidé. This one, look. Si está hablando de una tercera persona, alguien está hablando de su esposa y alguien más está hablando de su, creo que hijo o hija. Uh, and you say, for example, your name is, le voy a decir un nombre así al azar, your name is, eh, Juanita, ¿yes? Y está hablando de una niña, una tercera persona. ¿Será que your name es, es el posesivo que corresponde? No. Her name. No, her, her, her name. Lo mismo pasa si me habla de, de Juanito. His name. His name. Her name. His name. His name. His name is Juanito. So you have to be careful with the with the possessive adjectives because you can you can say something very different you know if you confuse yeah. your name complete can you say that your name complete is julio like this no your name complete is julio no i'm gonna say no my name is not julio yes If you, if you say that to me, no, I'm not Julio. His name. And you don't say his name complete. You say his complete name. Yes? La oración correcta es esta de acá. Miren. His complete name is Julio. Okay? In this order. His complete name is Julio. Yes? Possessive adjective for a boy. Complete as an adjective that modifies name and the complement. Okay? Is Julio. In this, in this way. He starts your work. Imagine. He starts your work. Suena lógico eso? He starts your work. No, right? He starts mm -hmm. his work. Teacher. Yes. Eh, siempre se escucha la interferencia. Creo que es el de Ceci. Y Ceci. Ceci. Y verdad que Ceci. yo me escucho como que es de Alvin y la es que se, Bueno, al menos en el mío se escucha más la interferencia que lo que está ajá, haciendo. Ajá, ajá. Yeah, please. So keep, keep the microphones off just in case, right? He starts his work, not your work, his work, okay? See, uh, see how you, you, you need to fix uh, all the, the things that I have mentioned to, be, uh, to improve, you know, to make it better and to do it better next time, okay? So... Those are the comments that I wanted to, to mention, guys. Por ahí creo que se me quedaron un par, quizás, pero por cuestión de tiempo. These are the ones, you know, the feedback I wanted to tell you. Be careful about pronunciation. Be careful about words and the structure. Don't think in Spanish, think in English, and you're going to have a better, better chance to communicate your ideas yeah so having completed the oral presentations we can move now to the practice of uh, the topics we have been studying right so let me show you we are missing this exercise and i need you people i need you to open the chat I need you to open the chat because 
you have to practice telling the and listening to times, right? So I will share a link and you have to start practicing telling the time, you know? For some of you, it's kind of uh, a difficult topic. For some others, maybe not. So this is a, an opportunity that you can use to improve. What are you going to find in that link? Well, you're gonna be guided uh, through a web page like this one. And there are some clocks, right? You have to listen and select the best answer. Listen and select, right? Let's do number one together. It's four o'clock. It's four o'clock, right? So you have to select the clock that contains the time that is mentioned. Option B. Option B. Letter B. Letter B. Very good. Great. Okay, now complete the rest. You work with the two till the number 12, okay? Mm -hmm. Because you have to work individually, individually. Click on next, and then you get the number two. It's quarter past two. Uh, uh, a. Option A. a. Option A. a. Option a. Yes. Option A. Correct. Very good. And the, the accent is British. I don't know if you realize that it's not American English, it's British. You know, it's a quarter, quarter, right? <laughs> Very <laughs> elegant. Number three, look. It's half past eight. C. It's half past eight. Half past eight. It's half, half past, past eight. eight. Yes, letter A is the correct one. Four. It's quarter to one. Letter A. Letter A. Quarter to one. Very good. It's quarter past five. C. Option C. C. That's great. It's one o'clock. Oh, easy. A. 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 It's quarter to eight. A. 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 It's quarter to four. See, 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 yes. It's half past one. A, one. A, 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 A. A. Uh -huh. It's half past ten. Uh, C, 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 Letter C is the correct one. It's six o'clock. Oh. Option B. B. Option B, B. 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 teacher, good. And last B. one. It's quarter past 11. Quarter past 11. C. Option C. 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 B. C. 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 Great. That's great. Very good. Okay, let's see. Thank you. Thank you for that a contribution. We have the next, the next practice. Let me show you. This is going to be with me. Okay, it's here. And again, 
there is a listening, there is a recording, and you have to answer the questions. For class begins at, that is the first question. My mother left this morning at, you, you're gonna listen to the time. I'm going to catch my bus at, let's get together at, and uh, the store, right? And you have to, to select the time that is mentioned. We have then the number six, the, you have to complete the time here. It starts at seven and eight, nine and 10, okay? So use your notebook because you have to write. You have to write information about the 10 different options that you're gonna have. Use your notebook and use a pen, right? Pen, pen, pen. So here we go. Number one. Our class begins at 4.15. Number two, my mother left this morning at 9.13. Number three, I'm going to catch my bus at 20 to 4. Number four, let's get together at five after 12. Number five, the store closes today at a quarter to six. Number six, the movie starts at 740. Number seven, she called this morning at 10 past 10. Number eight, their plane arrives at a quarter to 12. Number nine, please come to my office at 8.05. Number 10, I have to work at half past three. Very good. The times are mentioned. Would you like a second chance? I mean, a second time with the listening and then you give me the answers or you go with the answers right now? The second. The second time. Second time. Okay. I'm gonna be posting, you know, the listening, stopping the listening in, in some points, so you can give me the, the answer, right? So let's see. Number one. Number one. Our class begins at 4.15. What is the time mentioned? 4.15. Yes. yes. So option one. Two or three? three. One. one. Option one. one. Okay. one. Option one. <laughs> Correct. Okay, let's see. Number two. My mother left this morning at 9.13. What's the time? Number two. 9.13. 9.13. 13 or 10? 13. 13. Option, option three. Option three. Well done. Well done. My mother, it is my mother left this morning at 9 13. 13. 13. Right? Next. Number three. I'm going to catch my bus at 20 to 4. I'm going to catch my bus at 20 number one. Number one. Number three. Number two. Number one. Number Listen, two. 20, 20 to four. 20 to 20 four. To 20 four. to four. 22 four. What time is that? 
Twenty to four. Twelve. Twenty, no twelve. Twenty. Twenty to four. Twenty. Option three. Three forty. Three forty. Yes, sir. Twenty to four. Twenty to four. Twenty to four. Twenty to four. Yes. In other words, three forty. Right. That's the correct answer. Let's see. Number four. Let's get together at five after twelve. Let's get together at five after twelve. What time is that? One. Five after twelve. So twelve five. Yes, five. Well, five past twelve. That's the time. Five past twelve. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Number five. The store closes today at a quarter to six. Le option three. Number three. 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 Number six. Number six. The movie starts at seven forty. Uh huh. Number three. Number three. Correct. Number seven. She called this morning at ten past ten. Mm -hmm. one. 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 Okay, ten past ten. Past Number eight. Their plane arrives at a quarter to twelve. A quarter to twelve. Number three. Number three. Three. Uh -huh. three. Eleven forty-five. Right. Number nine. Please come to my office at eight o five. Eight. Number one. Eight o five. Eight o five. Number, one. Number one. ten. I have to work at half past three. Uh huh. Number two. Two. Number two. Number two. Half past three. Right? You see? Ten, 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 ten. Great job. Great job. Okay. Let's go to the speaking. Speaking practice, guys. Let me show you. Microphones, please, again. Thank you. Okay, we have all these questions, you know, there are not many. There are just, you know, a few questions, I believe. And this is speaking task. Speaking in English, you have to interview a, a classmate with these questions. What time do you take a shower? If you don't know the specific or the exact time, invent. You know, English is for you to communicate, for you to talk, talk, talk. It doesn't matter here if you don't say the truth, right? What time do you have breakfast? What time do you finish work? What time do you have dinner? What time does the class start? And what time do you get up on Sundays? Okay, so these are the questions, the list of questions you have to use for the breakout room practice. So let's go there and let's talk in English, not in other language, but in English, okay? Ask these questions to your partners. So get in the breakout rooms as quickly as you can and practice English. Go ahead, class.
Hello. Yes, Edwin. Hello, hello. ¿Todavía no recibe el mensajito? No. Mm, mm, ya entré, pero... No, aún no ha entrado. Tiene que estar en sala 6. Room 6. Lo voy a mover para que le aparezca oh. otro, otro a la 8. Ok, 8. Room 8. Okay. Yes, 8. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Philip. Hi. 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 Luz. Perdón por hablar en inglés, pero se me quedaron congelados. Igual a mí sí me Okay. Philip, what time do you take a shower? I I take a shower at quarter um quarter to four AM. Okay. What time do you have breakfast? I breakfast at 10 a.m. What time do you finish work? I finish work um 15 past 3. What time do you have dinner? I have dinner um yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. I, I, <laughs> I get up. I get up uh um seven seven PM. Uh, At seven? No. Seven PM. Seven. Oh. I am okay. Yeah. Seven. I am. Okay. Now, you ask no me. Okay. Priscilla. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One time, um, five, five. Five o'clock in the morning. What time Five. do you have breakfast? At a quarter to six. Jonathan. Dime. Tú haces las últimas tres. Yo hago esto, estas tres primeras. Okay. What time do you finish work? At three sixteen. Finish work at. It's at. Three What time do you have dinner? I have dinner at six or yeah, six in the evening. What time does the class start? I start class at 7 p.m. What time do you get get up on Sunday? I get up on Sunday at 5 o'clock. Okay. A ti. Y no vamos a leer aquella cosa nosotros. Es que ya ahorita la acabo de...
Very good class. Thank you. Thank you for uh, coming back. <laughs> well, listen, there are three people who texted me that are missing presentations, and it's my bad also because I I didn't check the list. Yeah, but it's Aide, Neida, Patricia, and Vilma. And remember that I asked. Is yes. anyone else? Is anyone else? And nobody said me, teacher, right? So right now we are going to listen to Patty after no no no. Sorry, Vilma, because I have the pictures, right? So Vilmita, get ready because now is your turn. Right? Is Vilma here? Uh, she says that, that she can come back to the meeting. Okay, Patricia, go ahead. Patty, the microphone is yours. And activate your microphone, please. Just... Okay. Hi everyone, good, good evening. My name is Neida Patricia Galindo, but you can call me Patty. I am Salvadorian. I am 27 years old. I live in San Miguel. My favorite color is purple. I work at hardware store EPA as an advisor for cashier. My job is to be a support for cashiers. I like to eat pasta, pizza, and Chinese food. I love swimming. I like to listen to music, watch a movie. I like to go shopping and share with friends and family. Right now, I'm going to tell you about my daily routine. I get up at five o'clock in the morning every day, except for my day off. I take a shower. After that, I wear my uniform. Later, I have a breakfast and I go to work. I start work at 6.45 a.m. In my work, I first check all the POS to verify that the no closer is missing. Then I make a report of price change and the rest of the shift. And I am waiting for the cashier with cash chain authorizations and any inconvenience that, that may arise. And I finish my work at 3.16 3, p.m. After work, I do a little exercise and help my mom. At the same time, I try to have dinner and when it's seven o'clock, I take English class. My day and after class, when I brush my teeth and go to sleep. Well, as you already know about me. I'm oh, sorry. I forget the day later, but now it will tell you a little about my sister's daily routine. Her name is Kimberly Jamilet Galindo. She gets up at 7 a.m. She takes a shower, then she puts on her clothes. She brushes her teeth and she leaves the house at 7.40 a.m. She does professional internship and she starts her work at eight o'clock. In her job, she reviews different cases and she makes case resolutions. She finishes her internship at 1 p.m. and she goes home. Later, she eats lunch and relaxes a little. When it's 3.30, she goes to university. She returns home at 7.30 when her class are the over. 
she goes to bed at 9 p.m. and that's who her day ends. It's all thanks. Thanks you, Patty, for sharing. Um, well, it's interesting everything you 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 do every day, right? So you said that is the same routine, but not your day off, right? Yeah. In your day off, you do definitely different things. I guess I have Vilma. Vilma is back with us. So yes, yes. <laughs> okay, let me see. Uh, Patty, you have to female. stop. Uh, yeah. Okay, let me see. Okay. I have your pictures, Vilmita. I will start, you know, with uh, your pictures. Yes. Okay, and the microphone is yours. Um, um, my personal information. Hello, my name is Vilma Ortiz. I'm 46 years old. I'm from El Salvador. I live in San Miguel. I, I like to do exercises and I love drink coffee a lot. I like I like to watch series on Netflix. I like to mix. I like to always buy books by busy but something I go to work at six AM my daily routine. Get out at 4 a.m. every day. I brush my teeth. I take a shower. I get a dresses. I have breakfast. I go to work at 6 in the morning. My daily routine at work. My morning routine at work. I start at 6.30. I am go to stay. I walk to my locker. I change my shoes to my boat and also my shirt. I put on my security equipment too and go downstairs to mark the time of entry. I go to camera's room to grab my, my radio. And finally, I go to cover the area. Uh, well, routine of my partners, uh, my co-worker is Patricia Galindo. My co-worker's work routine starts at 6 or 5 a.m. Free tea, check all the polls to verify that um, no closures close, close is missing. Then she closed is missing then she makes a report of price change and the rest of the field she was white for the cashier uh, with cash change authorization and any inconvenience that my service he also supports the customer service area. He does not have an exact time for his long break, lunch break. His work today and ends at uh, 3.15 p.m. That's it, right? Thank you, thank you very much. Just here, Vilmita, remember, you're talking about Patty. Acá me habla de Patty, ¿verdad? So, it has to be she, yes? She also supports, because you wrote he. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, yes, so yes. <laughs> be, be careful with this, right? Yes. And also this, the, the, you know, the possessive adjective, her lunch break, her lunch, mm. uh -huh. right. yeah, and okay. her okay. work day, right? Her work day, very good. So let's see, okay. Ide is the last one, Ide, please hurry because, you know, the time has almost finished with you on your presentation. Yesenia? Okay, there you are. 
Good evening. Uh, my name is Aida Andrade. I'm from El Salvador and I live in San Miguel, but I am originally from Ciudad Barrios. I am 28 years old and I work every day except for a Saturday or Sunday. Moreover, I like uh, Chinese food and tacos. Also, I like coffee in the morning and at night. In my free time, uh, I like to spend time with my family, watch movies, listen to music, and I read. For the more, I have to be friends with home home or in the afternoon to eat and drink something tasty while we talk about our goals and uh, aspirations in life. My morning routine at work. I am at work at 6 30 o'clock a.m. with a ride, a drink, a coffee, and I start work at 6 45 o'clock a.m. The first thing I do is cash comes, then I tidy up the area. After the next activity, I very fed time. I the cashier uh, have correctly entered the information of the previous day in order to enter I, the information in the accounting table, assessing that everything marches when I have a difference and must identify the error and correct it. Besides, I process payment invites to suppliers and send documentation to the accounting department. Moreover, I receive money from sales. On Tuesday, I deliver suppliers requesting by the different areas and um, Thursday, I process this information to keep a record and a good inventory. I will talk about routine of one of my friends. Her name is Ilsia Portillo. She is 28 years old and her favorite food is pizza. Her favorite drink is Coca-Cola and her favorite color, color is black. She gets up at 6 a.m has breakfast at 7 a.m., leave, leave for work at 7.30 a.m. When she arrives at her job, the 15, she does in check her email, the tidies at her work area, the venues her daily routine with country, on drafting sales, contracts, supplementary dips, Drafting, lousing, and content life. Result is suite of diversion, adoption, mortariums, and miriams. She finishes her work day at 4 p.m. Arrives home at 4.15 p.m. Let it take her dog for a walk at 5 and at 7 p.m. have dinner with her boyfriends. Finish. Thank you, Yesenia. Thank you very much. Now, Oswaldo. Are you there, Oswaldo? Okay, teacher. Go Hello, ahead. my name is Alberto Mejia. I am 28 years old. I live in Apopa. I work in the warehouse of Ferreteria EPA. City Poma is located in Soyapango. I have been work at EPA for three years and eight months and speak two years and nine months in store to Soyapango. Today I moved to the warehouse and where I have 
11 months. My daily routine is I get up 6 a.m. I think I then take a shower. I have breakfast, my boots, my teeth, and start work at 9 a.m. Activities of my work. Valided, they are put off products from the warehouse. I benefit complete with a state fee regulation. Lose usually at 1 p.m. I see camera, security camera, sometimes and look through with the four lift and finish work at 6 p.m. and get home at 7 p.m. connecting to class English. Then they have dinner and go to bed at 11 p.m. My day off, there are 7 a.m. and cook breakfast and clean the house. Then we play with my son. We have lunch at 1 p.m. Sometimes play soccer with my friends. In afternoon, I watch football on TV. Sunday is the day to dinner, push us and go to a speak at 10 p.m. I with it youth about my family. My wife's name is Aranado. She is 28 years old. His birthday is July 29th. One day after my birthday. We has been married for seven years. I we had a beautiful son. His name is Isaac Mejia. He is year six year old. Your daily routine is his get up at seven a.m. He take shower at seven ten. He is breakfast at seven fifteen after. He boosts his teeth. He start class at 8 a.m. He finish class at 11 and lose at 12. He does working in the afternoon. Then was to be. He play with his friends at 4 p.m. He dinner at 7 p.m. He loves dinner and regularly. Especially iguanas and cocodrile. His favorite dinosaur is the Rex. He likes animals. He has three stock. I love my families. I like my job. Finish. Thank you. Thank you. Your son is just like mine. They love dinosaurs, right? They go crazy with dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are great. Very good people. Listen, because of the time, I know it's late, you know, and I'm sorry for that. You know, it's 840, so I'm not going to take the attendance. I know that, um, let's see, Miss Diaz was absent, you know, um, Ileana, right? So only two people didn't connect today, according to my attendance, yes? So only Erika, Erika Diaz was the one who didn't connect and Ileana, yes? So thank you very much. I'm not taking the attendance because I know who, who were present today with me. Yeah, go and have dinner, people. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night, este, fíjense que tuve problemas con la computadora, se me desconectó y me tuve que conectar al celular. No sé si habría problemas con eso. Uh, no, Jonathan, si ingresó igual, ¿verdad? Con Jonathan Pérez, su usuario. Zoom, con Zoom yo lo uno luego. No se preocupe. Ok. Ajá, okay. ok. Bye, bye. Have, an, have, an, night. have a great night. Good night. Bye, bye, people. Good night. 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 Good night